So I wake up in Alaska, right? And uh, I miss my flight. People miss flights all the time. Not that big a deal. But in this particular situation, it was slightly complicated because the last time I had spoken to anyone, I was on an island called Cruise Off Island, I believe it's called, Cruise Off Island. I've been surfing, mountain bike surf trip, right? So I've been cruising on the coast, and, you know, cool, you know, not crowded surf, right? It's kind of fun. But anyway, um, and then, and I've been camping with a bunch of guys in the woods for a long period of time, kind of get on each other's nerves. After a while, I get these little bugs, no seams, and I didn't have a freaking tent, just had like shelter, tarp, you know? So, um, and uh, the sun doesn't really set, and I'm an excitable guy, so I, I didn't get much sleep, right? Um, at any rate, at the end of the surf trip, um, I had a, a boat captain drop me off on this island called Cruise Off Island, and there was quite a dense, you know, like, there was a lot of grizzlies, a lot of bears, right? Um, and, uh, as the guy drops me off, he hands me a gun, big freaking hand cannon, 480 Ruger with a scope, you know, it was so freaking big, you couldn't fit it in a holster, like, it was, a, 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 they, they held it in a, uh, like a cordless drill holster, whatever, freaking big gun, I don't like, I'm not a gun-toting kind of guy, but anyway, um, the, uh, there's nobody on the, uh, island, and the captain didn't want me on that island with a bunch of bears by myself without a gun, so I went up, strapped it to my chest, I almost Blew my freaking leg off. A deer spooked me at one point. Pulled this thing out. But um, so here's the issue with missing the flight, though, right? So I climbed this volcano, and I'm at the top of the volcano. Because I thought it was going to blow my leg off, um, you know, being nervous. Because, yeah, I mean, they really, I mean, uh, the bears aren't really going to bother you. But um, at any rate, uh, you know, carrying a gun, I think it's dangerous. I just don't like it, right? But anyway, so I, I reckon it'd be a good idea to just have an empty uh, chamber. So I fire a gun, you know point out to the ocean safe a lot of ocean up there um and leave an empty uh chamber you know like and uh or whatever i'm not i don't know much about guns i'm not sure the technical term for doing this but make sure that if i hit the trigger i don't blow my arm off right um and i finally get cell phone signal right it's well i go i don't know I am, well, and I'm kind of in remote areas, so I get cell phone signal, and I call my dad, and I'm like, yo, dad, I'm on an island, no people, just me, and a bunch of grizzly bears, he's like, oh, well, you're supposed to leave tomorrow, I'm like, got it, it's coordinated with the freaking boat, Captain B, right home, no big deal, um, and, uh, I, um, then this, and then the phone goes dead, right, so, um, you know, I don't know, that, uh, is what it is, right, I finally get down, Meet the boat captain, cruise back into town. Now, I haven't slept inside for a long period of time. And I meet uh, two attractive, um, I think they were from New York City, uh, really, like, well-dressed. I mean, I've been, like, freaking smelling. Oh, like, you know, you sleep in the woods for a long period of time. and kind of, like, wet there. So I'm just a freaking rag, right? Um, but these guys have, like, tailored shirts, white, I remember. Um, and... Um, very nice people, right? And uh, I think they um, recognized that I needed some rest. So they got us a uh, hotel room. Now, at this point, I had a um, uh, bit of a drinking curse. Um, full on alcohol. Flipping nightmare. I mean, like, I don't get me wrong. I don't, you know, I'm not like anti-alcohol. I had a lot of flipping fun with alcohol. But if you enjoy alcohol as much as I did, you might want to be cautious. Because honestly... You know, um, being an alcoholic sucks. You know what I mean? That was a flipping nuisance, you know? But anyway, and this is a good example of it. Uh, festiv festivities would have, would have ensued. But, I mean, you got to be kidding. I'm like indoors, eating food, having drinks. And drinks came, drinks were priority. Drinks were high priority. Um, and um, I, I remember um, they opened the door to the, uh, uh, I think, fairly nice place, right? And I got my bicycle I think I stashed my surfboard in the woods and I wheeled my bicycle in, soft, fluffy, big, like really nice, fixed on, on the freaking, all I remember is hitting the freaking uh, uh, bed and um, that's it. And then I wake up the next day and I haven't been sleeping indoors. The sun wakes me up and still my eyes are sensitive to the light. And there's a note that my friend Loudon pointed out. I should have hung on to the note and it was um, a cute sort of uh, something about surfer dude. Um, lot of fun. You were, you know, asleep, uh, whatever. And, um, two names and, and he mentioned I should have kept that. And I think that would have been kind of a fun scrapbook note, but anyway, 
as it was, I wake up and I hadn't been sleeping indoors for a while and the, the freaking curtains in Alaska, they know the sun, you know, wakes you up. So like, you don't know what time it is. I'm doing like the Belushi shuffle, like, oh no, Mr. Flight, Mr. Flight. And I realized at that particular time, I had overslept to the extent that at this point there is like my parents, potentially, hopefully not my kids, but basically people, the last they heard from me was alone on an island in Alaska with grizzlies. And now I'm not coming off the plane. And um, yeah, I had to do some quick maneuvering. Um, and uh, and then I, I said that there were some other complications. You know, I misplaced my credit card. This happens when you're an alcoholic. I think my cash too. There were some like big game um, hunters that were like at the counter while I got my surfboard and my bicycle. <laughs> the airport and I had to pay some sort of tax. I'm like, oh, I used a credit card when I come in. Bill it to that. I can't find it. And I had spilled, I was catching salmon. You could eat salmon and just put like uh, wasabi and soy sauce on it. And like sashimi is flipping amazing, right? But it busted open in my bag. So I had like wasabi, like wasabi sweat smell. With soy sauce, gnarly, right? These cats um, were nice, and they paid like a substantial. I think it was like a hundred flipping dollars, right? I was like, dude, you gotta give me your address. I'll pay you back. It was like, nah, you're good, man. You just get home, get out of Alaska. Anyway, I thought it was a fun story. <laughs>